Hi, Little Learners. My name is Miss Patty, and I am the children's librarian for the Homestead Cybrarium. We are finally opened, and I can't wait to meet you and your families face to face. But in the meantime, I'm going to be every week reading a story with you. We're going to do some exploration and some learning, some singing and some playing, and I look forward to it every week. Come visit us soon when you get a chance because we have great books and great areas for you to play in. We have a whole wall of activities that you're going to enjoy. The books that we're going to be reading in the next few weeks are completely out of this world. You're going to love them. When I say out of this world, what do you think about? Do you think about space? Do you think about space stations and rockets and maybe even robots? Well, yeah, we're going to read great books that have those characters and things in them. So get ready to go on the launch pad, Cybrarium Reading Launchpad. This is the first book we're going to be reading together, and I'm looking so forward to it. Our first out of this world book is called Tiny Little Rocket. But before we do that, would you like to sing a song, an out of this world song? You know how to sing it, but this time we're going to have hand movements. You might have done that too. Have you sang Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star? I think so. Everybody knows that song. But if you don't, let's learn it together. Ready, set, go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are Up above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are Yay! Did you see that I did some hand movements along with the song? Maybe you can do that too with me When it's twinkle, twinkle you're making pretend that the stars are twinkling brilliantly. Sparkle, lots of sparkle. When you say wonder what you are, we're kind of wondering, hmm, I wonder what that is. Up above the world so high, kind of make a circle with your hands. And like a diamond in the sky, make the diamond shape and then lift up like this. And we can do hand movements while we sing the song. Are we ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, and then the diamond like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Yay, good job. So happy, I, I love that song. So let's go ahead and start reading our book, Tiny Little Rocket. It is by Richard Collingridge. And we have here the title page. And the title page has pretty much the same information as the front page, except for down here is the publisher. They're the ones that put the book together and published it for us to be able to read. It was published by Scholastic, and we give them thanks to be able to read the book so I can read it to you. Thank you, Scholastic. There's a tiny little rocket that will take you to the stars. It only flies there once a year, but zips you past Mars. Wow, that's really far, past Mars. Its fins are solid silver with a door made out of gold. There's a cozy pilot seat inside for a person, young or old. It whizzes out to deepest space while you hold on by the handle. And there you'll find the golden sun, our ever-burning candle. You hang there for a moment while the rocket hums and clicks. The sunlight gleams on silver wings. Behind you, something ticks. You see a purple lever that blares out, pull me now. The booster rockets all go whoosh. 
you quietly whisper, wow. The little rocket zooms again. A huge rock fills the screen. A meteor, it's going to hit. You give a mighty scream. Ah! It bops the rocket in the face and knocks you into outer space. Round and round the stars do roll. Quick, you'd better take control. You turn the wheel, you steer the ship, your eyes go wide to sea, and like a gorgeous fish of steel in space, you're swimming free. You dive back through our system, each planet one by one. The tiny rocket zooms you home to the third one from the sun. The third what, do you think? The third planet, yes, and that planet? Earth, yes, our beautiful planet Earth. There's a button on the rocket that winks just by your head and you have to press that button when it turns from green to red. You press the button with your hand and a banner is unfurled that stretches from the moon to Mars saying, happy birthday world, hooray. And look at the beautiful Earth, how it is with the ocean and the continents, how beautiful it looks, right? Oh, this is a big banner. Happy birthday, world. <laughs> and they have some of the planet, all the, the planets here. They have Saturn, which is the one that has the rings around it. It's beautiful. So happy birthday, Earth. But just how old are you? Everybody's birthday is measured in the same way. How many times the Earth has gone around the sun? If you are four years old, you have gone around the sun four times. If you are 10 years old, you've gone around 10 times. Well, the Earth has gone around about 4 billion, 500 million times, so many times. For Earth's birthday, we celebrate it every year. It is New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. That's when we celebrate it. So we've been celebrating it for a very long time. That was a pretty good book, The Little Rocket. Do you want to go ahead on a rocket ship to space one day? It looks like you may be able to do that one day. There are many, many companies that right now are going ahead and planning and having that vision. As a matter of fact, right now we have people in our space station that is shared with many people from around the world, and they're doing a lot of work up there. So who knows, maybe one day you are gonna be the next one up there. Are we ready to sing another song since we went ahead and took an adventure with uh, the little boy who was on the little rocket ship? That was fun. Well, let's go ahead and sing a song together called Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. I'm gonna do it first, and maybe you already know it, and you know we love to sing together so you can sing along and I'm going to do it a second time for you. Ready? Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, Blast off! Yay! Okay, you ready? We're gonna do it one more time. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you wanna take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. This is where we go even faster. Ready? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one blast off and we can even jump blast off can you jump with me blast off yay very good our next out of this world book that we're going to read together is called ralph and the rocket ship another rocket ship hmm. I, what does rocket ship start with what letter and what letter does ralph start with is it the same one r do you hear that sound two times Ralph and the rocket ship. 
written by Alyssa Cappuccilli. And it's published by, we go back to the title page, uh, Simon & Schuster. We want to give thanks to Simon & Schuster for allowing us to read this book uh, together. So thank you, Simon & Schuster. Ralph loves cars. He loves trains and trucks. Most of all, he loves rocket ships. One day, Ralph asked for a rocket ship. A rocket ship could take me up to the stars, said Ralph. A rocket ship can take me to the moon, he said. A rocket ship can take me to planets far, far away. Zip, zoom, whoosh. A rocket ship is too big, said Ralph's mother. Here is your train. Choo, choo, chug. Ralph's train could not reach the stars. He tried, he lifted really high, didn't reach the stars. A rocket ship is too tall, said his father. Here's your tractor. Clink, clank, clunk. Ralph's tractor could not fly to the moon. There must be some way to get a rocket ship, said Ralph. Zip, zoom, whoosh, but how? Ralph thought and thought. He thought some more and then you could see that he already has a picture that he's drawing right here of his very own rocket ship. <laughs> he also is thinking he's already in there so his imagination is taking him there. Your imagination can take you anywhere. I love books too because it takes me to the places the book takes you. So we're going to go ahead and do another countdown because I think he's counting down and he's on his own ship. But this time we're going to go slow. We did fast and now we're going to go slow. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Blast off, shouted Ralph. There he goes. Ralph's rocket ship went up to the stars and the moon and the faraway planets. Ralph's rocket ship took him wherever he wanted to go. Zip, zoom, whoosh. See, he made his very own rocket ship. He went ahead and got a box and he went ahead and did the top part, made like a triangle. We're going to go ahead and also uh, do a craft that, that is going so that you can make your own rocket ship too. And there was plenty of room for his friend Katie too. That's really nice. He was able to invite his friend too. The end. This is a great book also. I hope you liked it. Would you like to shoot your own rocket ship into space? Make your own rocket ship's drawer. I'll go ahead and just click on the title that says Rocket Ships Draw and you're going to see it so that you can create. It's really easy to make and uh, you will see uh, friends in the library who made their own rocket ships and let's see how much fun we can have with it. I hope you make one yourself. I think you're going to like it a lot. I'm so happy to have had the chance to spend some time with you and as I said, I cannot wait to meet you face to face. Please come visit us at the Cybrarium. Have fun making your rocket ship, your straw rocket ship. And maybe we can find some more books for you that have to do with rockets and space. See you every Friday at 1030 for more adventures, more reading, more fun, and more learning. See you soon.